Sorry, I was a little scattered today, and I forgot to show you my Sudoku example. So I have this Sudoku, this very difficult Sudoku that I would like to solve, to try and solve. And uh, this is one of the more difficult ones. You could pause the video and jot it down if you really want to try and solve it yourself. Um, but I'm going to enter this into... A, an array, it's called the array puzzle, and I've already written this out, so I've got this command here, puzzle, and let me show you what that did. I created, as you can see here, a 9x9 nine nine array called puzzle, and you can see here that where I don't have values, I put a 0, where I do have values, you can see, 2, 0, 0, 3, 0, 0, 4, 0, and I have 6, a bunch of zeros until that 3. Okay, so you can see I've recreated this matrix here in this puzzle matrix. And now I have a function here that is called Sudoku that I could show you. It's not much code. Basically, what it does is it takes the original array, it removes all the zeros, and then it fills in a, um, it comes up with a, a variable z for each cell that has all of the possible variables that it could be, all the possible numbers from 1 to 9 that it could be. So if we look at this first cell here, and it might be easier to look at, here where you're more used to, this could be a 1. It can't be a 2, 3, or 4 because there are already 2, 3, or 4 in that row. It could be a 5. It can't be a 6. It could be a 7. Or it could be a 9. So it's going to create a value for a 1 matrix, or 1 vector, I should say, for each of these cells for possible values. Then it'll go through all of those, and any if it's a if there's only one possible value as it goes through these, it'll assign that value, and then it'll re rescan the puzzle, and now um, eliminate any values that uh, it can no longer be, and it'll keep doing this. And in order to solve this particular puzzle, it takes about nineteen thousand. 20,000 iterations, which will take some time, as I mentioned. So here's the code. Uh, it's available online. By, this is written by Cleve Muller and for MATLAB. So how do I call this function? Well, I could just say, I could assign it a value, x equals, or um, if I don't, it'll just be assigned to my answer variable. So I say Sudoku. And you can see, because this is now a function that MATLAB recognizes because it's in my current folder, it can tell me, yeah, you, you pass it a variable and it can get more help on that. And I'm going to pass it the variable puzzle and hit enter. And now it's going to seem as though nothing is happening. Um, but you can see down here at the bottom, it does tell me that we're busy. Right? There's this function file sudoku.m that is running and it's going to take a little while I'll cut the video ahead to where it finishes which you can see it's 5 p.m. now and I'll cut probably take about two minutes okay so it took less than two minutes. We now have an answer. Uh, you can see it's still 5 p.m. so it took under a minute and here is the single solution to that Sudoku puzzle. Thank you MATLAB.